Hi and I welcome you to this short lecture. You are watching this video because you want the answer for the question what are subatomic particles. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to answer this question with a good understanding. To understand subatomic particles, you should also know about atoms. Everything in this universe is made out of atoms. I mean everything. You, me and every matter in this universe is just made out of atoms. Later in this video, I will explain you how this was actually possible or how this actually happened millions of years ago. For now, let's proceed with our subatomic particles. In earlier days, it was thought that the most smallest matter in the universe is atom and it is not divisible. I mean it cannot be divided into two and that is the reason it was given the name atom. In Greek, indivisible is the meaning for atom. But later, scientists discovered that an atom by itself has even more smaller particle inside it and these particles are called subatomic particles. An atom comprises of three such particles. They are protons, neutrons and electrons. A proton is positively charged particle, electron is negatively charged particle and a neutron is neutral charged. Now we know what are subatomic particles. Now let's see their position in an atom. The center part of an atom is called nucleus. The nucleus which is the core of an atom has all its protons and neutrons. The whole nucleus is held together by a strong force and this force is responsible for binding protons and neutrons together in a nucleus. And this force is recognized as one of the four basic forces of nature. The binding force varies from different atoms based on the size of the nucleus. If the force is more weaker, then the nucleus will be more unstable. Each element you see in periodic table is made out of atoms. The number of protons an atom has decides which element it is in periodic table. For example, a carbon atom has 6 protons, a hydrogen atom has 1 proton and an oxygen atom has 8 protons. Like this, each and every element in periodic table has their own number of protons in nucleus. By increasing the proton count, we can make a new element based on the number of protons we add. For example, if we add additional two protons to a carbon atom, then it becomes an oxygen atom. In the similar way, the number of neutrons in an atom decides how heavy the atom is. If we add more neutrons, then the atom will be more heavier. The heavier version of an atom is called isotopes. For example, hydrogen has three known isotopes. They are protium, deuterium and tritium. Now let's talk about electrons. Electrons are most light weighted compared to protons and neutrons. In fact, it is 1800 times smaller than proton and neutrons. And it exists in a cloud which is orbiting around the nucleus. Electrons will shift itself from one orbit to another orbit based on the energy level it has. And we can influence this electron movement based on the orbits by passing energy to an atom from external source. Here electrons will absorb the energy and will jump from one orbit to another orbit based on the gained energy and eventually it will fall back to the original orbit by losing the gained energy. Based on the type of atom, the energy that is emitted from the electron could be a heat energy or light energy or basically it could be any form of energy. Now you might have a question popped up in your mind whether there is any other particles which are smaller than proton, neutrons and electrons. The answer for this is yes. There are particles. They are called quarks. Both protons and neutrons are made out of quarks. And these quarks are smaller than protons and neutrons. I hope now you know what are subatomic particles and you will be able to explain it when someone asks you the same question. As I promised you earlier, now let me explain you how the first atom was formed in universe. Atoms were first created after the Big Bang 13 million years ago. Immediately after Big Bang, universe was very hot and dense. Once the universe cooled a bit, condition became suitable for quarks and electrons to form. And quarks came together to form protons and neutrons. And protons and neutrons combined to form nucleus. These all happened in first few minutes after Big Bang. It took 3,80,000 years for universe to cool so that electrons slowed down and was captured by nucleus to form the first atom. Hydrogen atoms and helium atoms are the one which formed at the initial stage of universe and even now 
major part of the universe is composed of hydrogen and helium molecules. Gravity played its role to bring clouds of gases together to form stars. Heavier atoms were created in the stars and when the star exploded, atoms were sent throughout the universe. I hope now you have a better understanding of subatomic particles and its role in forming the universe. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already.